Hey there, Susanna Schofell here. I am a musician living in Buda, Texas. This is my studio out in Buda. Uh, but most of my music making, performing, all that good stuff is done in Austin, Texas, down the street. That's where I was born and raised, the, the live music capital of the world. And uh, this September marks the 15th year anniversary of being a smoke-free music city. And that's why I'm here. I'm so excited to be a part of uh, the American Non-Smokers Rights Foundation and Smoke Free Music Cities event going on. So big thanks to them for uh, sponsoring this. And I am just happy to be uh, playing for you. This this issue means a lot to me. Uh, I remember a long time ago, some very young musicians don't even remember this in Austin because it's been smoke free since um, they've been going to enjoy music. I guess they'd have to be 15 years old. But uh, at any rate, uh, when I was coming up in the scene here, it was very normal to walk into a club and it be filled with smoke. You could just see it kind of, um, you know, rising above the tables. And I hated it. I really did. I, you know, never was, never was a smoker. I have no problem with smokers. Uh, that's fine. But I just couldn't stand it being so close to the stage and going into my lungs. And sometimes I would take a breath to sing and get choked up because of the smoke. Um, I had to drink extra water and it just didn't seem fair. It didn't seem right. And, uh, you know, I am just so grateful that I don't have to worry about that anymore when I show up for gigs. So, um, yeah, I'm going to play a song and uh, just wanted to say a little bit about uh, my experience partaking in clubs that were not smoke-free versus clubs that are now smoke-free. There is a huge difference. It definitely uh, caused some damage for me. In fact, real quick, I'll share that uh, I actually was diagnosed with vocal nodules back in my early 20s, and my ENT told me that it, a big part of it was probably because of the smoke in the clubs. So um, I did some healing. I, you know, some of it was bad habits as well. I, I took some time off and, uh, and healed my voice. But when I went back to singing, it was so nice uh, years later for it to be smoke free. And so I didn't have to worry about that one aspect and issue anymore because it is a fact that uh, the smoke will damage musicians' uh, ears, nose, and throats. So another reason to not have it in the clubs and the venues, all right? This song is called Good Problems. It's a brand new song I wrote. So happy that uh, <laughs> smoky bars aren't a problem of mine anymore. So cheers to that. I've got good problems, if that's what you want to call them. Not even worthy of solving. I got a sweet disposition, rose colored vision. I can smell what you cook in the kitchen And it's not good No, it's not even food I know you wouldn't need it So what makes you think we should? Oh, and it's not kind What you do behind closed doors Tell me one more time now Who are you working for? Tell me one more time now who are you working for? See, you never had to choose what to keep or what to lose. Oh no, so I suppose it's no big deal, no big news. That you'd ignore all the ones with no means, no big guns. To fight for the rights of their daughters and their sons. And it's not good. Just plain rude to not help your brother when you so easily could. It's not kind what you do behind closed doors. Tell me one more time now, who are you working for? Tell me one more time now, who are you working for? Apparently, 
I don't need smoke to even get choked up. I'm actually kind of glad that happened. It brings me to an interesting point. Allergies are bad enough in Central Texas. Uh, singers are having to fight our uh, allergies. Right now it's ragweed, pardon me. But to add smoking on top of that is really gonna wreak some havoc. So it's really, really important that we keep smoke out of the clubs and venues so that you can hear me hear me sing beautifully instead of uh, hoarsely, instead of hacking away, all right? So just another, um, another good point, you know, smoke really can do a lot of damage to our lungs. Uh, secondhand smoke, third hand smoke, I don't know if you know, but that's a thing. Yes, the um, chemicals from the cigarettes can actually, they kind of create this dust that lands on, you know, your guitar, your instrument, everything, and that causes, you know, another layer of damage. So um, if you read the facts, there is a lot of negatives associated with uh, smoking in bars. And right now, man, with the pandemic going on with COVID-19 and what we know about how it uh, it really attacks the lungs, it's such a respiratory thing, um, it's probably a pretty good idea to steer clear of smoking, of secondhand smoke, anything that's going to cause one more layer of um, immune deficiency for you. All right. Let's get back into another song and I'll talk a little bit more again afterwards. This one is called Hello Goodbye and I wrote it actually about a venue that I met my uh, partner at now, Paulo Vesey. He used to own a venue called Momo's back in the day and uh, was very happy that Momo's was always smoke-free. I think even before the, uh, the ban, he was smoke-free. He was very lucky because he had this beautiful patio, this outdoor patio. So if you wanted to smoke, you just stepped out onto the patio. So that was a big plus of playing there though when, uh, when smoking was allowed is that he would only allow it outdoors on that patio and uh, made a huge difference. So, so this one's called Hello Goodbye and it kind of has a reference to Momo's um, in it. All right, here we go. Hello, 
so happy to be celebrating 15 years of a smoke-free Austin, and uh, I'm here on behalf of Smoke-Free Music Cities and uh, the American Non-Smokers Rights Foundation. So I wanted to uh, just kind of highlight the fact that, you know, most people think of places of work as offices um, and buildings, you know, sort of the nine to five typical job setting. But, you know, I have a job just like you do. It's just that my job happens to take place in venues, restaurants, bars. And it is a place of work, not only for the musicians too, I'm not being selfish here, the bartenders, the staff, the sound person, right? You know, all these people. And then of course, the, the customers who come in, the people who want to uh, partake in this music, that smoke is affecting everybody in that closed door venue, you know, and it's not a good thing. Think of all those people, all those lungs getting infected with uh, secondhand smoke. So another great reason um, to keep it out of the workplace. It's, it's it kind of, I feel like it frames it differently when you talk about the music venues being a workplace. It makes it a little bit more respected or respectable um, because a lot of people associate, you know, venues and musicians with the party scene and this and that. But really, you know, it's how, it's how we make our living. And it, it should be a place that we're able to walk into and do our job safely. And that means not putting, not putting that smoke in my lungs, all right? It just hurts me, that's all. Okay, let's get you back into a tune, all right? I wrote this one about a trip to Italy. Um, and it's called Right Here Inside. Perfect for uh, talking about lungs. And it's it, this song I wrote actually about coffee. <laughs> that's my bad addiction. Uh, but hey, drinking coffee doesn't give other people lung cancer. So anyway, this is kind of about the feeling that coffee, as it's like kind of sipping a cappuccino in a, a sweet little cafe in Italy, what it does to you. So hold me tightly in your hands and drink me and be my cup. Thank you so much again for tuning in and supporting this um, 
This event, thank you to American Non-Smokers Rights Foundation and Smoke Free Music Cities. I am so appreciative of the work you do in helping to keep the venues and bars uh, smoke free. I think um, it's important to share that it's not like becoming a smoke free city has hindered the Austin music scene. Nope. The bars are still packed. People don't care. In fact, if anything, it might have um, brought more people into the venues. I know lots of people back in the day who couldn't go out and hear live music because of the smoke. It affected their health. And I always felt so sad for them. I, I remember I had a couple gigs where uh, some of my older friends were just like, sorry, I can't. I, I want to hear you sing so bad, but I can't go to that venue or I can't go to that bar because it's too smoky and it affects me. So, um, so I think it's a wonderful thing. It actually... Um, you know, it encourages healthier participation in the music community and creates a healthier music scene and community. All right. So again, this is nothing against smokers. Hey, smoke all you want. Not that it's great for you, <laughs> but we just, uh, you know, we want our indoors smoke free. We, we want to keep them smoke free. And, uh, you know, I have lots of smoker friends who actually can't stand indoor smoke as well. They like to enjoy a cigarette outdoors in the air. Hey, totally fine, all good, but they themselves don't like to walk into a smoky bar, okay? That makes them feel nasty and gross. And uh, yeah, so this is just saying, hey, let's keep it smoke-free and clean. And um, yeah, especially right now with the pandemic going on and the COVID, you wanna keep those lungs nice and healthy. We wanna keep everybody's lungs nice and healthy. So thank you so much for supporting, uh, supporting the cause. And uh, yeah, on that note, I'm gonna play a song that kind of has a reference to the air that I breathe, the air that lifts my voice out into the world, and because uh, that's very important to me, I want to keep want to keep these vocal cords healthy. I want to keep my lungs healthy. This is what I do for a living, and I would so appreciate it if everybody got behind it to support the health of all singers and musicians. All right, and human beings. This one's called Follow.
got something I want you to see If you will take this world in Oh, you'll never be had love so much if we could keep that air that i follow smoke free that would be fabulous wonderful congratulations austin on celebrating 15 years uh back in 2005 we became a smoke free music city and big thanks to smoke free music music cities and the american non-smokers rights foundation for all the hard work you're doing for keeping our uh, our cities our music venues smoke free all right hope everyone's well out there be well take care wear your mask stay safe uh, Susanna Schofel here signing off. Thanks so much for having me.